Hello YouTube friends, this is Recovering Yankee, and I'm going to do a weigh-in. Not for me, for the pulp. I just finished making the juice. I want to see how much pulp is made officially. So first thing I have to do is turn it up, put this empty container, which is exactly, these two containers are exactly the same weight when empty. So now I'm, I put the empty container on the juicer, I mean on the scale, I hit the button to turn it on, and it's going to set the tear weight automatically. 0, 0.0. Now I move the cup with the pulp onto the scale, and you'll see it says three and a quarter ounces. Now that means I put in 16 ounces of celery, three and a quarter ounces of pulp comes out. That means I created 12 and three quarters ounces of juice. Okay, so we have 12 and 3 quarters ounces of juice versus 3 and a quarter ounces of pulp. Tonight, I'm going to do some research onto, into the differences between vertical juicers, which are slow speed, vertical juicers, which are high speed, horizontal juicers, which are slow speed, horizontal juicers, which are high speed, and centrifugal juicers, which are high speed. I'm going to find the pros and cons of each style, and I'm going to determine, I'm going to write that down, and I'm going to tell you what the benefits and disadvantages are of each type. Also, I'm going to tell you what you're looking for when you make juice, okay? Now, um, having 12 and 3 quarter ounces of juice out of 16 ounces, that's pretty good, but I don't know if it's good compared to another juicer or not. I don't have another juicer handy where I can make more juice. So I'd like you guys that are juicing celery by the pound to also do the similar experiment with your juicer. Whether you have a Champion or a Jack LaLanne or a Green Star or a Walmart brand or Omega juicers or there's literally hundreds of juicers. And maybe you have another, another Tribest juicer like I have. Obviously, if you have the Tribest Slow Star, like I have, you don't have to report your findings because they'll be the same for you and for me. But say you have another version of a, a Tribest um, juicer that's not equivalent to this slow speed vertical juicer. Then what's what I'd like you to do, brand the juicer you have. I'd like you to juice 16 ounces of celery using the instruction they give you in the book, pushing with the amount of pressure they tell you to push with, using all the hints and tips and techniques they give you to make the best quality juice out of your juicer. And I'd like you to measure the amount of pulp, and I'd like you to measure the amount of juice. And then I would like you to put it in the comments so we know which juices are good and which juices are not so good, which juices are better, which juices are worse. Uh, clearly, the amount of juice you get is an important factor when you make juice. Also, when you make your juice from now on, just as a test, as a comparison, measure the amount of heat with a thermometer of some sort. You can buy these digital thermometers at Harbor Freight and Walmarts, most hardware stores, Ace Hardware, etc., Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever hardware stores in your area, they have these digital thermometers that you can buy. You just squeeze the trigger and it sends out a laser and it automatically determines the heat or the coldness. Make sure you do it in Fahrenheit, because I did mine in Fahrenheit, and I don't use communist uh, measuring amounts. <laughs> Meters, liters, kilograms, centigrade. <laughs> it's all communist stuff. I believe in the old-fashioned British system of pounds and ounces and cups and miles and quarter miles and miles per hour, because I'm not a communist. <laughs> I'm only kidding. It doesn't make you a communist if you use those old, those uh, nonsensical measuring terms. Okay? It doesn't make you a communist. I'm just being silly. Please don't block me or unfriend me because I said something about communism in ingest. Okay? Anyway, let's, let's work together and find out what our juices are capable of creating with respect to juice and pulp and respect to heat. Okay? Also, I'd like you to comment on 
the, on the comment section if you find your juicer is too difficult to clean. Type in the name of the juicer you have and determine you know that my juicer takes six minutes to clean. Now, if your juicer takes seven minutes to clean, it means it's less efficient with respect to cleaning. If your juicer takes five minutes to clean, it means it's more efficient with respect to cleaning. If your juicer creates 13 and a half or 14 ounces of juice per pound of celery, that means your juicer is more efficient than my juicer. If your juicer only creates 10 ounces of juice, that means your juicer is less efficient with respect to creating juice. So I'm not going to say that one juicer is better than the other because of the fact that you produce more pulp or less pulp, more juice or less juice. With respect to comparing juicer A and juicer B, the biggest important, most important thing is how much juice you yield. The second biggest thing is uh, the um, heat of the juice. That's a very important thing. So by you, by, by you folks putting down how much temperature your juice is when it comes out of the spout, that'll help to determine whether machines are more efficient or less efficient. Also, the level of foam that comes out, it's kind of hard to measure once it's in the jar, but if you can grab a ruler of some sort and turn your head sideways and get a good measurement of the thickness of the pulp, in your cup, uh, then we can also determine which juicers are more efficient and less efficient. So what we're trying to determine, again, is efficiency with respect to foam amount, efficiency with respect to pulp amount, efficiency with respect to juice amount, efficiency with respect to temperature of the juice after it's cooked. So write your numbers down in the comment section. On, based on the juicing one pound, 16 ounces of celery. Now, being that I don't use that system, I cannot tell you how many, how many things it is with respect to the metric system. Uh, I can convert it. Most modern phones can convert from, um, from the standard American system to the communist system. <laughs> You know, I, I can look at a quarter mile and determine that it's a quarter mile, but I can't look at a kilometer and determine that what a kilometer is. So I can't even begin to focus on it. I can't say, well, that's a kilometer. I wouldn't. When they tell you they have a, a 5K run, I, I don't know how much distance that is. It doesn't make any sense to me. But if they tell you they have a five-mile run, I can, I can focus on that in my mind and tell, me, tell myself and tell others what that means. It has an application. I don't understand. When I look at wrenches in the in the garage when I'm working on my car or in someone else's car and it's a half inch wrench or a quarter inch or three quarters, I can look at the size of the nut or the size of the bolt head and I can say, oh yeah, that's a nine sixteenths. It's easy. And it's I'm almost a hundred percent accurate when it comes to bolt heads and nuts with respect to wrenches and sockets and things. But you give me a ten millimeter a communist 10 millimeter uh, socket, I can't tell you it's 10 millimeter. I can't tell you if it's a quarter inch or a half inch because they don't even have the right sizes. They don't have half inch and quarter inch. They don't have three eighths, seven sixteenths, nine sixteenths, etc. So I can't look at a, a, a metric nut or a metric bolt and go, oh yeah, that's uh, 10 millimeters. Uh, that's 14 millimeters. That's 19. I can't do that. I can't. So what I do when I have an, an, a metric nut is I sit there and I take all the all the sockets out that are close, <laughs> whether they're large or small. And I have to sit here and try each socket before I find the one that fits. Sometimes I find it right away, but other times it takes me five minutes of sorting through sockets just to find the right size because I can't determine that that that's a ten millimeter socket or that's a fourteen millimeters. I can't determine that. It takes. Uh, the fun out of working on cars. It takes the fun out of building things or fixing things that have nuts and bolts. And same thing goes with drag racing. When I was younger, I used to drag race. I had a 70 Challenger with a 383 and a four speed. And I, it was built to 650 horsepower. But I can tell you how much a quarter mile was just by looking at it. Whatever the equivalent is in kilometers, whether it's two kilometers or three kilometers or of uh, two and a half kilometers, I can't look at a, 
a, a, a quarter mile and go, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's uh, 2.2 kilometers. I can't do that. How, much, how many kilometers is that? When they say on science fiction shows or movies or movies about space and science in general, or even when they talk about science on the news and they say things in liters and kilometers and, and uh, you know, 10 millimeters and it, it's like speaking a foreign language. So anyway, that was a little rant there. I, I'm, I was only silly when I was said it was communist. There might be some communist people in here that are offended. I apologize. I'm not intending. It was just being humorous. That's all. Please don't sue me. <laughs> and please don't send bombs in the mail. <laughs> or anthrax or something like that. Anyway, uh, let's do this as an experiment to see how much, how much juice we get, what the temperature is, uh, how much foam we get, and how much pulp we get from 16 ounces of celery. And don't forget to write down the name or comment on the name of your juicer. You know, the brands, the style, whether it's a horizontal juicer or a vertical juicer. Write down if it's a slow speed juicer, high speed juicer, centrifugal juicer, auger juicer, etc. Write it all down. And then this way, we can find out which juicer is the best of the best. And it'll be an informal experiment because we're not obviously dealing with everyone in the world that owns a juicer. We're just dealing with a few people that own juicers. So at best, it will be anecdotal information. Okay, so let's just do it and have some fun. All right, thank you very much. Thank you for sharing this with your friends. Thank you for hitting like, and thank you for subscribing.